think she's gonna look like you? It'd be great if my, if my granddaughter looked like me. Huh? All my kids you, look like me. You, Rosie, yeah. Cheekies. Yeah, we, all of us. Wow, that'd be four. It'd be beautiful. <laughs> It's not a green joint, it's a green bottle. Okay, Jackie, the pregnant one. Va a tener una niña que se llama Jayla Hope. Y queremos que pase también al centro, Danny. Come on, Danny. Él es el culpable de esto que me pasa a mí. Quiero que pase al centro también la bisabuela, que es mi mamá. La señora que empezó a hacer niños bonitos y de ahí salimos bonitos todos los demás. La tatarabuela, doña Lola. Pásale, abuela. Entonces yo quiero que pase mi hermano Pedro para acá y haga una oración para que Dios pueda bendecir la venida de esta niña. Entre todos nosotros, nuestras familias, podamos criar como es debido a esta niña Chela Mor que viene en camino. Cierrame las puertas de la cama. Pásame con otra por enfrente Grítame que no con la mirada Para ver si dejo de quererte Vuelveme a decir que no me quieres Para que me quede bien clarito Para ver si en todas las paredes Dejo de escribirte en but I'm hungry, I want to eat. And there's cocido. Do you guys like cocido? Does mom have this? Oh, my mom, my mom used to love this. You want a big bowl or medium bowl? She like. So this you have with like tortillas de maíz and some limoncitos. Juan and some okay. salt. Can you guys be very honest right now? Did you guys eat your mama's beans? Yes. Oh my, my mom made good beans. I remember one time she made shrimp for, my, for the first guy that ever came to my house. But he was Jewish, so he didn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> so she missed totally? But we didn't know that they didn't eat shrimp or pork, so she said, okay, I have pork chops. Well, Who's Jay's <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite food? Jenica. Oh, my mom's Frijoles favorite. Frijoles de la olla. With tortillas and a piece of cheese. Yeah. 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 So she always said. And well, she maybe, would eat that all the time. Oh, my God. How much? Is this for, like, three days? You eat like, like you haven't eaten in three days. Well, she, she loved tacos. I mean, she loved Mexican food, right? Mm -hmm. Have you ever had this one? Good uh, you guys are having me try all sorts of new food this morning. You don't trust. Yeah, they trust on that, that kind of nice bomb. Wait, it's because... It, wait, how do I do this? I just stab at it? Or just, so my mom was 16 and she was 15 and living here. With with cheekies, little tiny cheekies. No, 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 no. She, no. she, she turned she, six. She got pregnant she oh, could, and she at moved 15. Out. Yeah, and she turned six. And she moved out with Trino. And then, but I don't think they, they didn't, see, we're so young, we didn't know everything that went down. We just know that Jenny was just gone. She, like, day. never said, I don't remember her saying goodbye to me. Mom and dad didn't kick her they out. They didn't mean to they didn't kick mean her to. out. Mom see, was scared of yeah, dad. Because dad was, like, really strict, real. Traditional. Yeah. Oh, damn. So my so, mom left out of fear, but it necessarily was. No. my mom told her to leave. Yes. Your yeah, abuelita well, told her that so they she, had to protect because she, she didn't so know what my dad was going to yes. do. It was, it was a, a miscommunication. So when my dad got back, he thought she just ran away with oh. your dad. He, he didn't even understand. When he did know, like three days later, he's like, ask her to come back. But your mom was you're, you're already prideful. like... prideful. Your grandma, every time she talks about that, she She'll still cry. cries. Every time. Really? Yeah. And all this happened because she got pregnant. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was scared to tell her, but she was actually very understanding. Dude, that was scary. And I was standing on the edge of her bed, and she was like, yes, mija, no. That's the worst way to tell someone. Like, sit them down and give them some pan and a coffee. <laughs> I don't know. But she was, she was, I just said, I'm pregnant. And she's like, okay, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to keep it. She's like, okay. I feel like I started understanding her more after I had Jayla. Why'd you get pregnant? <laughs> uh, Why'd you do this to me? Look what you've yeah. done to my life. <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> Daughter, why'd you go and get impregnated? Like Johnny says, why didn't you use a condom? What, don't do the hanky panky. This is terrible. Is this what I've taught you to do in life? Is this what I raised you for? I love you, daughter. I love you. I love my, my granddaughter. And uh, thank you for being a blessing in my life. And thank you for bringing another blessing in my life. I love you. I adore you. You think she's going to look like you? 
It'd be great if my, if my granddaughter looked like me. Huh? All my kids you, look like me. You, Rosie, Cheekies. Yeah, we, all of us. Wow, that'd be four. It'd be beautiful. You can show Jayla. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, oh my gosh. She loves Jayla so much. She didn't change after fame. She wanted to share her light with everyone, and that, that's very rare for a famous person, but she wouldn't leave anyone behind. Uh, hello, sister. Uh, I am pleased to be able to be here today. I'm very, very happy for you, very proud of you. Uh, you may not know, but I look up to you a lot. I really respect you. You're very intelligent, very hardworking, very dedicated, very disciplined. God bless you and may everything that you want, everything that you desire to have, may you have that and more. She protected us and fought for us at home and in the street. And then when she got famous, she protected and fought for us on a microphone. And she taught she us her voice. how to fight for ourselves, you know, with the whole sexual abuse thing. A lot of people said, like, no, be quiet. That's shameful. Like, and she was like, no, we got to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get justice. And, and that just showed me so much. Like, I'm worth it. Other victims are Were worth it. Were you scared it. to talk about it? Yes, she would ask me every year. I told her when I was 16, and she told me, you should write a book. I'm like, girl, you crazy. She was so ahead of her time. She was a visionary. So then every year she'd ask me, you ready to talk about it, sister? And I would say no, and she would totally respect it. Every year she would respect it, and one day she called and said, are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. And she, and she went full blown, and, and he was caught like two months later. Mi hermana Jenny is mi I admire her so much. Like, I was four. Yeah. And she was the world to me. She was the coolest person I knew, girl. And Juan was the coolest guy I knew. And you just want to be like them. Of course she changed lives. She did it in so many ways, but... I don't think she knew it. I think... I don't think she knew it to the extent. I think she knew, like, there was, like, cases where she, like, impacted people's lives. But I don't think she knew to what extent. And I, I really wish, like, as an uncle, like to you guys, and I've told you guys this before, man, if I had one power, it wouldn't even be to see my sister. It'd be to erase your pain. Jesus, I could do that. Because I know, like, the, like, the constant, like, struggle you go through, Tia, like, um, whether, like, you, you're, you're satisfying her, or, like, I just, I just, I just know what goes on in your mind, so, like, I know, like, hearing that, like, I, that makes me happy for you. It was perfect. Because it was, it was a perfect birthday gift. That's that's what's so perfect about that clip. We should we should watch these right. more often. It's an honor, and I told you this, uh, yesterday. I said thank you for letting me work on this because it's such an honor to be able to do this for your for your mama. This stuff is gonna be with some of the most important stuff in my life, and I'm glad that that she's number one again. We were out here playing, we were just being normal. 
Y ya Jenny me dijo a mí, esa muchacha, you know, siempre me molesta en la escuela. Chicos, ¿no se acuerda cuando me tiró en la plancha? Oh, she threw up a plancha, too. What the heck's wrong with That's hereditary. <laughs> Papi, mi mami quiere unos abrazos. La puede venir a abrazar, por favor. Pero, pero, ya se tiene que despedir para el sol.